I'm gonna try not to cry for this video. Um, if I do, we're gonna stop and I'm gonna start over again eventually. Um, I don't like crying on the internet for strangers. I think it's weird. It makes me uncomfortable to see other people crying on the internet to strangers. So if I start crying, this video is done and we're restarting a different day. I put on makeup today to try to encourage myself not to cry today. So I couldn't even imagine the day that I would have to make this video. I knew that it would come eventually and I knew that it would be the worst time of my life. And sure enough, it has been. Um, so, I don't even know how to tell you guys. I don't know how to even start this video. So I guess the best way to start it is just to state the obvious. Um, just get it out there in the open so that we can then talk about it. Um, Arcadius, my blue iguana, is no longer with us. I knew that the day this happened, it would be the worst day in ZA Reptiles history. It'd be the worst day of my life. And it was. My heart's literally in my throat right now. I've been doing really good today, so I thought I'd film this video and get it out of the way because it was the last thing I had to do. I typed up my post for Instagram yesterday. I haven't posted it yet, and I knew I needed to film this video. You know, I knew I couldn't heal and begin to move forward, knowing that there were still things I had to do that were holding that process back, like make this video, post to social media, post to Facebook so that friends and family know. I'm gonna try and make it through this video. The minute I start talking about him, thinking about him, it usually goes downhill pretty fast. So we're gonna try to just take my time getting through this video so that doesn't happen. So if anyone's been around this channel at all over the past four to five years, I guess I haven't had the channel that long. That's how long Z Reptiles has been around. So if you've been familiar with ZA Reptiles the past four to five years, you know who Arcadius is. Arcadius is literally the reason for ZA Reptiles. He's the co-founder. He's the reason for all of this. He's literally the face of ZA Reptiles. If you think of ZA Reptiles, you think of Arcadius. That's just how it goes. So for anyone that's not super familiar with Arcadius and his backstory, I'm not sure if there is anyone here like that watching this video. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you know about Arcadius and you're shocked, just as shocked as we all were. But if you aren't totally familiar with the backstory, you may have forgotten. Arcadius was my blue iguana. When we got him, he was a year old and had severe metabolic bone disease. We honestly weren't sure he was going to survive. We got, got to a point where we thought we might have to have him put down. He was completely paralyzed in his back end. He couldn't defecate on his own. Um, he was just about as bad as they can get. Um, we gave him some TLC. We waited it out. We had an agreement because I got him the end of my sophomore year of college while I was home for summer. So we agreed we'd give him the summer. And when I was moving back to college in August, we would make the decision based on how he was doing. So we gave him the summer to see how he would improve. And I'm glad we did. It took a month, a long, long month of a lot of work. I learned how to manually poop him. Um, a lot of research. I had to learn the ins and outs of reptile nutrition, specifically for herbivores. Um, I learned a lot about UVB, and that was right off the bat. I had a leopard gecko before that. The most knowledge I had came from what I had learned in my first two years of my major, um, which is animal behavior ecology and conservation. I went to school for zookeeping. So I was thrown right in with this challenge, um, but it was 
probably the best thing that could have happened to me, honestly. And so he, he pulled through after a month. His back leg started working again, and he was going to the bathroom on his own, and he pulled through. He didn't let metabolic bone disease defeat him. He, he fought it, and he pulled through. And we knew, it, it was so bad, we knew that it drastically lowered his lifespan. We knew I wasn't going to have him for 20 years. I was hopeful maybe 10. Instead, I got almost five, um, but they were the best five years. Like I said, he's the reason for ZA Reptiles. I went to school to be a zookeeper. But I didn't know what I wanted to work with. The most I knew was meerkats and Komodo dragons. Other than that, I had no, no real idea what I wanted to work with as a zookeeper. When I got Arcadius, because I knew I wanted an iguana, I literally found out like, I saw this girl with an iguana on Instagram and I obsessed over iguanas. I just sat there researching and looking up iguanas and learning all about them and watching videos about them and like searching through Instagram looking for keepers of them and Pinterest and I was just obsessed. Not even two days later we got a call or my mom called me. My dad called me, someone called me, texted me, I don't remember. I was at work and said that we had a family friend that was rehoming their little blue iguana and asked if I wanted him. So it was kind of like, it was kind of meant to be, it was kind of like fake. It was like I became obsessed with iguanas, researched a ton, wanted them so badly, and two days later, there was Arcadius. So the reason he had extreme metabolic bone disease was because he was given as a gift. Because the person that had him hadn't done any research on iguanas because he didn't really want an iguana. So Arcadius, for the first year of his life, had no UVB and very poor diet. So he didn't have enough calcium in his diet, didn't have the UVB to use it, to utilize it, and that whole process. Um, so that's how that all happened. So because of that, and because of what Arcadius went through, I started ZA Reptiles to share his story and everything I had learned going through the process of rehabilitating him and our goal was to educate the public on the realities of iguana keeping and to try to help prevent this from happening to another iguana in the future and I honestly feel like we really did accomplish that. Um, I've had so many conversations with people and I've gotten so many comments from people that watched one of our videos and changed their mind and realized an iguana wasn't actually for them or they might have learned something new or they wanted to improve their care and that's all I ever wanted was to kind of open people's eyes to the truth and they're not just these cute lizards, they're not just these big awesome lizards, like there's a lot more to it than that. And that was our goal. And from there our family grew, so it was thanks to Arcadius that I fell in love with reptiles. Um, I didn't know I was going to be this into reptiles as I am now, and because of him, I fell in love with it. I. It's because of him that I found all the passions that I have today. Reptile keeping. Because of him I fell in love with learning about reptile nutrition. Um, and right after that I actually took an animal nutrition class in college. And he was the focus of my huge project at the end of the semester. We did a project on metabolic bone disease. Because of what we wanted to accomplish I started YouTube. And just talking to people. Even in real life about iguanas, I found a love for education, and specifically reptile education, which of course then expanded out of iguanas and metabolic bone disease to just reptiles in general, but that wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Arcadius. You know, so I owe this whole thing, ZA Reptiles, I owe all this to him. Without him, this never would have happened. I would have never found my love for reptiles the way that I did. I wouldn't have dove right in learning as much as I could about nutrition and UVB and reptile medicine. Like it's been a crazy ride 
and I have Arcadius to thank for it. So I guess beating around the bush, I gave you the backstory. Um, so what happened? Our best guess is that his condition caught up to him finally. Um, I went in to feed him Wednesday morning. It's now Friday. I went in to feed him Wednesday morning before work, right after his lights came on, and that's when I found him. So, I, my brother told me the night before, or that morning, like I asked my brother about the previous night, he said he fell asleep on his bed like he does every night. He had one of those little blue and green small mammal beds from PetSmart. He slept on it every night. Um, so he fell asleep there and woke up and the next morning he was not there. So it happened some point during either the middle of the night or early in the morning. He had gotten up and moved from his bed. So I think it was coming. I think he knew. Um, because he's like a baby when he sleeps. He doesn't wake up. And then he lays in bed until the lights come on. So the fact that he had moved and the lights weren't on tells me I think he knew it was coming. Um, we discussed the possibility of getting a necropsy done. Um, because from an educational standpoint, it would have probably been very beneficial. Um, we would have been able to see how severe metabolic bone disease in his young years, um, how it affected his internal organs, and how his, um, deformities, like, really affected him. So from an educational standpoint, he would have been a very good candidate for a necropsy. Um, but I'm actually going to be near the place that does them tomorrow and making a day trip. But I couldn't fathom keeping his body around for several more days and then taking a four hour car ride with his body to have people go through his body. I, I needed to just lay him to rest. I needed to bury him. I needed to not have his body um, sitting around for several more days and then taking a four hour car ride with me. Um, I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. And that was the cost too and that was quite expensive. And there was extra fees for it being a weekend. So we nixed the necropsy um, as much as I want to know just for research purposes and educational purposes how metabolic bone disease truly affected his internal organs and whatnot. Um, I just, I couldn't. So he is buried out back um, under a tree. So I'm going to make a little sign for his tree. Um, we put some wood planks down over it so I want to get some nice flowers to put on top. The hardest part of all of it, because I knew, I knew that his lifespan was going to be much shorter and that I wasn't going to have a long time with him. Um, I think the hardest part was that I wasn't there. In the end, after everything we've gone through, after everything we've been through together, the hardest part was definitely that I wasn't there with him in the very end. It's really hard to talk about this stuff out loud. Typing it is one thing, thinking it in your head is one thing. To actually vocalize it, much more difficult. <laughs> so, it sucks. It's the day, the worst day, that I never want to imagine. The day I absolutely dreaded. Because it's no secret, he was my favorite. I've said that time and time again. He was my favorite and that I owe literally everything to him. Um, he was my mom's favorite. I mean, she cared for him the first week we had him and brought him to all the vets and everything because I was still in college for the last week of the semester when he got dropped off here. So she cared for him. She loved him. She was right there with me, helping him through the hardest time of his life when we first got him. Um, so it was, it was a shock to all of us. There was no signs. There's no warning signs. Um, you know, we just moved into his new enclosure not too long ago, like maybe a month and a half ago. Um, he was eating totally fine. 
pooping consistently. And there was no warning signs. I just went in to feed him and he was gone. As you can see, I dyed my hair. This was part of my coping mechanism yesterday. I went to Walmart for hair dye and left with hair dye, cookie dough, and cosmic brownies. And then my boyfriend brought me a pint of ice cream from Stewart's. Came out a lot darker than I intended it to. But I'm thinking maybe it will lighten with the next wash. Instead of like being purple, it's like black. But So yeah, that happened. You know, I feel like we, like I said, we, we did, we accomplished what we wanted to do, I feel like, as far as education goes. And he's never gonna go away. He's never gonna be forgotten. His legacy is gonna live on. Every time I wear the Herpetology logo or I send out a business card, he's gonna be a part of that. He literally is the Herpetology logo. If you don't know, that's my small business, my Mansi shop where I sell reptile mom goodies and decor and gifts and whatnot. It's literally us, our little partnership. Every time I get a commission through Iggy Illustrations, he's gonna be a part of it. I mean, my illustration business was named after him, and again, our our friendship is the logo. So you guys know I love all my animals. They're my family. I love each and every one of them. But Arcadius hits differently. That's his death to be the hardest one that I'm ever going to deal with. Because he's like, he's the original. He was the one that made all of this happen. So I just, I feel kind of weird now. Because like, the case and so has been my like, my identity for the past four to five years. Without an iguana, I'm like, who am I? <laughs> Not just any iguana. Arcadius. And my mom asked me when we were burying him if I would ever get another iguana and I said of course. I always say there's only one animal I can ever keep again. It's an iguana. Like if I could only keep one species it would be green iguanas. And then she said that she would be worried that no other iguana would measure up to him because he was so good. So sweet. And just so beautiful. And now that's going to be the hardest part for me. Because I'm obviously not going to get another iguana anytime soon. I mean, I'm in my parents' house in a small bedroom. So it was already hard enough with the animals I have. Trying to do all these upgrades and providing what they need until we can buy a house. So it'd be very irresponsible to get a big lizard like an iguana right now. Um, but also, I, I don't know how people... I don't know how people can... I don't know how you can lose an animal and immediately get another one. It would break my heart. Like I couldn't go and get another iguana right now. Because I'd be looking at it going, you're not Arcadius. Not even close. It would be unfair to that iguana. And it would literally make me feel worse. So, it will be a while <laughs> before I have another iguana. I'll have one someday. Because who am I without an iguana? but it'll be a little while. And I've never really talked about this. The only person I've ever talked to about this is Medusa Official. Um, one of my friends had talked to her about this a while ago when I was planning on quitting the zoo and I talked to her about it. I'd really like to someday have like an iguana sanctuary because, well, because of Arcadius. Because those, those are the animals I see all the time being neglected, mistreated, not intentionally people just don't quite understand what it really takes and what they need and I see them on Craigslist and Facebook all the time I see them in rescues I see them in rough situations and I'd love to have an iguana sanctuary where I can take in these iguanas so someday maybe I'd love to do that and name it something after Arcadius it's like a commercial building or something and just create these huge iguana exhibits where I can take in these iguanas and give them 
a forever home because being there for his journey helping him through it was the most rewarding thing I said she could have been around a little longer but he waited until dandelion season he got his favorite food his dandelions before going and yesterday was the day after his passing and it was the first nice day we've had in a very long time um, it was sunny it was so warm that I could bring animals out so I sat outside with Muppet yesterday so I was very sad that it happened the day after Katie's left so he didn't get to enjoy it part of me feels like it was kind of like a gift from him letting me know that he's okay God damn it. Uh, apparently I felt like it was a gift from him letting me know that he was okay now and that he was doing better. He was in a good place where he wasn't being held back by his injuries and deformities. That his legs were working again and that he could climb like an iguana should. So that's what I like to tell myself. Not that he missed out on it but that he's the reason that we have nice weather now. I think that's all I had to say about it. I've been keeping myself very busy with lots of projects. Don't let this fool you. It looks like my bed's made. It's not. I have the blanket pulled up here so it looks like I have my life together. <laughs> but I've actually been tearing my room apart and moving things around and working on some new upgrades. So once that's all done I'll do an animal update video for you guys. After this I'm going to go, I'm working on one for Percy right now, um, so I have to go finish his background when I'm done filming this, so I'm just keeping myself busy. You know, the new enclosures gave me an excuse to go therapy plant shopping yesterday. Uh, I'm not going to say how much money I spent on plants because my boyfriend does watch my videos sometimes, so we're going to keep that uh, number on the, down on the DL, we're not going to talk about that. So, yep. That's the, the sad news, Arcadius is no longer with us. If you want to relive <laughs> moments with Arcadius, I do have an Iguana playlist with all the videos we've ever done together. Um, so those are there. So I guess if you guys have any favorite memories of Arcadius, any favorite Arcadius videos, maybe follow me on Instagram and there was a favorite picture, just any favorite Arcadius moment. If you want to leave that in the comments that would mean a lot because I know a lot of people really loved him yeah so okay I'm gonna end this because I'm gonna start tearing up and I don't want to do that so um yep I wish I had better news for you guys but that's what happened um next video will be the jewel deserted care guide obviously that won't be this week's video because this is this week's video. So that's been pushed back again. I apologize. Alright, so that's it. I will uh, see you guys for the next video.